Friends, this is a cataract with pseudo exfoliation and weak jonule. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 170 degree. And now, a side port is being made about three and a half clock hours away on the left side. An air bubble is injected to fill out the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. And in this case, I'm going to use this adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates little more. Size of this pupil is about four and a half millimeter but the pupil didn't dilate probably the size is about 5 millimeter it didn't dilate with adrenaline now I inject visco apply the visco that is 2% ASPMC over the corneal epithelium and see as I do rexis as I try to make a puncture the whole lens moves and there is wrinkling of the anterior capsule so there is generalized weakness of the genual so I have to be very cautious I'm doing the rexis very gently no jerky movement slow and steady movement and I have got an adequate sized rexis of about 4.75 millimeter and now hydro dissection is done very gently BSS is passed small amount of BSS is passed the nucleus is tapped and I try to rotate the nucleus and it rotated ultimately now I inject visco and plan to introduce the FECO handpiece in this case I have decreased the parameters Vacuum is 350 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 35 ml per minute, and ultrasonic energy is 60%. Bottle height is less than usual. And after aspirating a bit of cortex, we turn the handpiece, make the bevel up bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus and chop it this is a cataract with grade 3 nucleus sclerosis and chopping was easy and now without rotating much I hold it at this place and emulsify this free nuclear fragment to make some room in the capsular bag and now I gently rotate the nuclear mass and hold it here and make another chop now hold the left hemineucleus chop it into two pieces now each nuclear piece is emulsified with ultrasonic energy and it is hit enough. This is the other piece. I have steel the other hemineucleus here. It has got two pieces. I'm trying to pull out one piece and I could do that 
no hurry very gently very slowly just pull the pieces with vacuum and emulsify at iris plane the posterior capsule is still protected by a uh, cushion of epinucleus and this is the cushion and I have to be very careful now I must not catch the posterior capsule and I didn't so it was a very patient surgery slow and patient Now inject some more visco and I'm going to use a 23G Simco cannula. This is a very safe instrument. I can use a very low vacuum. I can pull the pieces tangentially, not centripetally. And I'm keeping an eye on the zonule, whether it is giving in, whether it is the anticapsular rim is shifting centrally or not. No, it is still fine. So there is no genular dialysis, just generalized genular weakness. In this case, I didn't use a capsular tension ring because I find that the anterior capsular rim is circular so I inject visco fill up the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber and then implant a single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag another option is to implant a multi-piece intraocular lens in the sulcus and do optic capture because this lens bag complex may drop into the vitreous cavity after several years but in this case I didn't feel that the genual is so weak and now once the lens is in the capsular bag the next thing is to clean the visco both from the anterior chamber as well as from the capsular bag thoroughly so I'm using the Simco cannula first and then I used the irrigation aspiration cannulas irrigated the angle all around irrigated and aspirated for some time and then the side port is closed. I used moxifloxacin to close the side port. Only one side port has been made in this case. And now this is the final uh, lavage of the anterior chamber. The antechamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. 
so in this case we decreased the bottle height we decreased the parameters that is vacuum flow rate and we used optimum ultrasonic energy we didn't rotate the lens vigorously all these precautions are taken to manage this case hope this video will help you in managing your cases when you face such situation